Hi, this is Priyanshu. In today's video, we are going to talk about our physical science chapter 3, Silks and Wool. Okay, so generally in this chapter, we are going to see the question answer and whatever the keywords present in the, our test book. Okay, so let's cover this one. So we will start from the keywords and uh, if you have anywhere, if you're getting anywhere doubt, then don't worry, just look at in your test book. Okay. So let's just start from the keyword. So actually here it is a lot of keyword is given, but in generally uh, like uh, eight to nine keywords which is given in your test book. So you can see like uh, animal, uh, animal fibers, silk balm, cocoon and uh, uh, like the uh, mulberry, sericultures, bo uh, bomics mori, railing, fleece, okay. Sorry. So that's the scoring, uh, kniting and uh, this is the bleaching, waving, dyeing, warp and woof and wool okay right so i hope this is the keywords which is uh, present in your test book actually uh, these all keywords are not present from uh, starting to like 9 to 10 keywords which is uh, there in your keywords okay you can write and uh, th these are the keywords if you want to write you can write otherwise you can just leave it out i, I don't think you have to be uh, and one more thing here i want to explain this is a woof is there it is given in your test book but actually i think it is a mistake uh, like something there is no word of the such type of things there is no definition of this actually uh, it is it is bull okay now it is not a uh, like woof and something and uh, something okay so, so this is the answer of that particular questions okay so let's go to the head and uh, you can is it clear so we can look at this summary so this is a summary lot of student need summary to understand and recall this so if you want to read this summary uh, you can read that otherwise we will go to the question answer okay so here it is a question answer which is improve your learning the first question is that in uh, sericultures industries of which stage of silk worm do weavers buy and why do they do so actually this is the answer of that question and the second question is which place in our state is called a silk city okay Pochumpalli is it called the silk city of Telangana famous for the Ikat uh, Jamdani uh, saris okay okay so let's go to the third one okay prepare a chart showing on the life cycle of silkworm and display that in the classrooms okay so you can uh, see that one actually you can add a picture also okay so you can add a picture also here okay so you can add the picture so let's go why are the uh, cocaine's uh, stifled okay so this is a fourth one and then let's talk about fifth so fifth is there what will happen if cocoons is not uh, boiled okay so answer you can look at out that and the fifth one what are the difference between uh, fleece of the angoras god and the camel okay this is animals like fleece types this is angora gods and this is a camel okay let's talk about seventh one make a flowchart showing the various stages of production of woolen uh, fabric you can also add picture here also if you add the picture it will look something interesting okay and this is a generally and you can add also picture in that okay so let's talk about eighth question in what way is kinetic different from uh, waving so this is a uh, kinetic and this is waving Let's talk about that one. Prepare a, uh, a scrap book with the picture of the different bulls, uh, yielding and animals. Okay, so answer is there. You can add the diagram also, or you can add the picture. Okay, so let's talk about tenth one. So the tenth question is that fill in the blanks and given your reasons for the sta uh, statement. Fabric protect us from the cold. That's the bullion and reasons why it is. So that's the answer of this. So this is the eleventh question if you are going to visit uh, Dal Lake which is at Kashmir so which type of cloth would you like to keep in your leoses and why so this is the answer of that and this is the twelfth question I will go do you find any similarities between silk and wool waving uh, waving and what are they okay so this is the answer let's go to the 13 write five difference between the wool and silk manufacturing so these are the different you can look at this like sources are there flashing animals and etc okay so let's go to the 14 one okay 
absorb designs of the silk sarees and uh, drag them in your notebook and make your own design okay so you can look at that so let's talk about this 15 one in the east india silk is called path and you may collect different pieces of silk fabric from the uh, cloth store and write name of this actually you know i am also from the east india this banarasi sari you know this banarasi sari is not from the east india it is from north like uh, but, but uh, you can it is written so you can think red silk actually east india it is like a, a madhavani sari it is there it is made by the some silks like that okay so that's all also uh, these are the very silk or fabric i think it is that a very unique design with the madhavani paintings etc okay like pachampali cards and uh, Kach uh, kachipuram okay green silk yellow silk and red silk okay i hope this chapter is clear and whenever you are getting any doubt in that so you can look at it in your test book and i hope this video is going to help you for you and if you're looking for the others of this question answer so you can go to the channel and you can check out from that side okay so let's meet on the next video jai hind